Do you think Sanjeev, this is this is great election strategy? Prime Minister speaking about unfulfilled ambition of Muslim women. Yogi Adityanath reminding people a non BJP government is like bringing Kashmir in the state of Uttar Pradesh. Are these complementary or contradictory? Uh, I would think uh, it is a planned strategy, and I think it is complementary. And I would beg to differ with what Sanjay Sanjay ji said. In fact, I just want to add to what he said. Hmm. It's not just about maybe it could be about splitting the Muslim vote, but actually it's about consolidating the Hindu vote, and that is really what the BJP is, has been trying to do. And we can see a very clear trend within the BJP in the past two three weeks. Hmm. But everybody knows that uh, the pharma and this is a big issue in the first two phases. BJP did extremely well uh, in the last elections in hmm. 2017 and in 2019 as well. So the whole idea of the BJP is to ensure. that you know uh, if they can if they can hold on to the narrative that was built in 2017 and 2019 they will be able to do this hmm. and when you show graphics from 2012 i think the dynamics of the state have changed considerably since uh, 2014 and the advent of narendra modi and then 2017 hmm. uh, so i think looking at it from the perspective of 2017 onwards will give us a better picture i feel it is a carefully planned strategy and this will help the bjp in consolidation of the majority vote in the first two phases sanjeev singh you know in, in the book which has been uh, which is written by by nalin mehta and you've had a a big role in that you know the, the entire mehta uh, singh index that that has been chronicled there when when nirja choudhary tries to argue that it is now back to jats looking after their own identity i thought since 2014 the prime minister because of who he was his cult following came from a backward community his communication skills he had basically subsumed all these identities are we looking at anything remarkably different in 2022 you're muted uh, sanjeev yeah 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 go ahead, yeah. Go yeah, ahead. There, are, there are two there are points i want to make firstly uh, i want to respond to uh, nirja saying that there is thakur vaad uh, in up especially under yogi adityanath Uh, as has been clearly documented is that the biggest beneficiary under the bjp and up ha- have been the obc the other backward classes which have grown substantially in number although the so called upper caste numbers remain somewhere the same but the biggest growth uh, that has happened is for the obcs and in fact the yogi adityanath uh, uh, ministry has more scheduled castes and obcs put together Than the uh, Akhilesh Yadav ministry in UP, which he held till from 2012 to 2017. The second point that you are talking about is, I think this election is extremely important. It's going to be a milestone election because, as uh, you know, we heard um, one of the gentlemen say that religion is a bigger variable than caste. This election is all about whether we are going to see an overriding Hindu wave. Subsume all these smaller things like caste, etc. So, therefore, when you talk about jats or kujars or you know these small these castes, if you look at you know absolute numbers, their jats are less than two percent in UP. Hmm. So, now the question is whether these so-called caste leaders will be able to hold their castes together, or is the combination of Yogi Adityanath and Narendra Modi? Going. No, let me add another dimension. Let me add another dimension. You know the economic dimension, because the, the, both the Yogi government as well as Narendra Modi at the centre would like to argue that the kind of economic benefits which have been given to these very farmers who have been protesting in in parts of Western UP far outweighs any criticism that we can think of. So there is caste, there is religion, there is caste, there is religion, and there is the economic benefits. Which of these three factors override the other other two? well of course uh, you know the strategy that has been adopted by the bjp it's very clear that they have a labharthi scheme hmm. and you know hindutva is just something which gives them wind actually the work is done by these labharthi schemes or the development that the bjp is trying to push so therefore if you ask me in that order i would push the development schemes of the bjp first then uh, religion and then of course caste hmm. and that's why if in this election we see bjp winning again it will be a watershed election because then uh, what you want to witness is that all these caste based parties they are going to be they are going to be marginalized and they'll move to the fringe and what we've seen 
the sort of growth of BJP in uh, Gujarat under Narendra Modi as Chief Minister, we might see something like that happening within UP itself.